Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're going to be racing the NCCRS here at Martinsville. Today in the booth we got uh, Dark X Rain making his first start in the broadcast booth. Eric Monaco, uh, Reggie Fogelin, and uh, myself, if I need to chime in. Just to get a few things out the way, first of all, uh, Byron, Brian Webb, full start pull. He's second class in standings, gets that 10 point bonus. Knowing Martinsville, uh, I guess uh, that kind of answers any questions there. Uh, Shred, points leader, starting again, highest of the cars that are in contention. And But uh, Frank Cholton is starting somewhat close. He's within catching distance. We'll see how that ends up happening. 50 laps. Um, I think that's all I got. Got any first thoughts, Eric? Also, uh, be aware of the guys that are in the dead zone of the cut line for the playoffs. Uh, Eric Monaco, starting with, of course, me, um, has a chance to uh, eyes on this opportunity and get out of the get out of the cut line, get out of the dead zone for the cut line. Seven points above right now, along with Matthew Hill, who is not starting as well right now. So that's concern for. Matthew Hill, and then Ian Styles, Anthony Square, Pox Cozart kind of blew the cut line as well. Alex Tanker also concerned there, but we'll see how the results show. As only one of those cars near the cut line I'm seeing starting in the top 10 is the 48. Uh, Dark, uh, Darkest Rain, you got any initial thoughts? At the moment, I don't, but I do know that you had to save your bricks at the trick at Martinville. Uh, Reggie, you got any uh, first thoughts? Uh, I guess uh, his mic's bugging. But, uh. Talking about Matthew Hill, he's not starting up front. Again, won at uh, won his first career race uh, recently um, at Homestead, Miami. Right behind him is defending winner uh, Kyler Sustre. We're talking before the broadcast how uh, last time he was in a top 10 position, he had just finished a top 10 streak of six races. He's got a lot of work to do if he wants to continue that streak. Uh, we will see how that goes. And Alex Tanker is nine points above the cut line starting out back as well, along with Matt MV, who is 28 points above the cut line. And then we see uh, Sabre Fox, who is third in standings. 124 points of the cut line, but may not stay third in standings. And then Anthony McLaren, 54, also not looking for a good points day. But again, there is possible changes out there. We could see Pox Kozar starting mid-pack-ish. He's currently the only one I'm seeing that's near the bubble that could really do much in terms of passing. Where is Ryan Cole? All right, yeah, he's in the back, and then... Yeah, really, other than that, I think everyone else is set for uh, some work to do. And we'll see how that goes. Got about a minute till the initial start. Again, 17 of uh, Brian Webb starting pull. He's, uh, this is the Rail Fan Motorsports number 17. Not performing so well. His teammate Vince Freeze, 34 points above the cut line. Having an all right start. We'll see. How he finishes. Uh, LJ Toledo also right there in standings. But I think Thunder 24 fan and above are in a good spot right now. But we'll see how this race finishes. Again, 50 laps out there. 50 points per lap let. Or, well, it's a lap a lap led is one point. Say someone leads the whole race, that's 50 points. Most laps led is 10 points. Pulse sitting position is 10 points. Byron Webb's got it. As uh, we're about about 10 seconds till the command. Uh, got Ricky Cap Capperman starting second, third 51, fourth 07, fifth 73. Drivers, start your engines! Three six engines fire as they enter turn number three. Dark X rain, take it away. All right, as we wait for the pace to go on the pit road, we're waiting for the green flag. Okay, we are green at Martinsville. 
Head down, turn one. Iron Reb on the inside will take charge. Kafferman on the outside, one limb. Get away, but okay. they come out, turn number four. Iron Reb will lead lap number one. But yes, Kafferman on his outside. Almost side by side, low. Oh. Oh, Kafferman the wall. Able to keep it by. Do we have yellow, maybe? Now we're good. Just a wall hit. Also, the four it's car Frank green. Chilton in the back hit the wall as well. Not sure how hard, but he did hit the wall as well. And that four car. Oh. Oh, Kapperman again in the wall. Three wide does not work at Martinsville. Okay, that was a hard hit. hit. Frank Chilton hit the wall off that corner a lap earlier as a. 98 did hit. Oh, and 90, oh, 19, 19 the wall. The wall and then he goes around. Ca caution. Caution is out. It looks like it's a bit of a pile up. Yep, caution's out. Caution's out. So here is the. Oh, nine... oh and. Ooh. Yeah, slow enough like to one. Jimmy Star who's up that spun around and. Who's at the back? One less. This pick car yeah, drives the through the 101. We're going to give him some laps here to pace out as uh, some of these guys do need to catch back up the field. Uh, 97 has recovered to 33rd already. Dang, that was quick. Um, yeah, it looks like the 19 got around there off the corner. These guys are still trying to figure out their pacing. I'm gonna run the pace car for their yeah, lap back. Is, again, is so. the so let's see what happened to the 19 car. It was this lap right here, lap three. And it looks like he's coming off four again. Three wide does not work here at Martinsville. I think we've seen a car. He just got tight. Moves. Let's go slow motion here. I mean, he's in turn number four. Oh yeah, he's got. He's going to slowly way outside, out the groove, into the wall, and gets Ooh. into the 21. So the 20, consequently. Everyone else kind of hit their brakes, so... No, I, no foul. Brakes. I think the 19 and 54 are the only cars that got any real damage out of this. Is They're trying to slow the up. And, it looked like yeah, someone just, got turned. Yeah, I got... Put in a bad spot and there's no with no room there. They're and not again, a happy camp after that one. And again, uh, single file restarts as uh, Martinsville does. There's, you still got some cars trying to get their stuff figured out. May have to add some pace laps to make sure. <gasps> some of these, are some of these cars scored a lap down? I'm gonna add a pace lap just in case because I'm not sure why. Money will do the damage. I mean, it's not hurting track position a whole lot. I don't see why these cars are where they're at. But I think they got stuck behind the pace car. My only guess is they're going to pass it when they get the one to go sign, which I don't know. It's I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Seventeen pitted. Seven, they might, yeah, you might have a point. Pitted. They might have. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, if they're racing to the yellow, then that might be the cause. I, I think you're right. They may have pitted. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in these kind of positions. Let's see. I think they did pit, yeah. Seeing what I'm seeing here on the chat. Uh, we'll go with that. Strategy. It's 51. I may have stayed out. Or had a better pit stop. The 17 did not. Does everyone here appear to be for position? So the guy that pitted may actually have Fletcher Tiger 1 in the front. Maybe. I'm not sure if he did pit though. See how this goes. Do it. Lights out on the base car. It, you go down the pit road. Wait, I'm, I'm, close. Hit the I'm close and in the lead right now. 
it's a little bit. Sometimes when they touch on, they slow. And, and we're, we're back on the green. green. These teammates right here are battling for the lead. Elson and Fred, points leader. Back there, Eric Monaco looking for a position on Kapperman, but he was looking on the inside there, but he wasn't, wasn't fast enough to get there. He definitely peaking, but oh, he doesn't get a little bit wide, but we'll keep it by. Able to keep position. We can complete lap number 11 onto lap 12. Yeah. Right. Oh, go. The three goes wide. You're under yellow now. Oh, caution. Double. The 90 will get the free pass. Uh, they might have been in that wreck. They might have been in that wreck, so maybe not. We'll see. And it looks like they were. Oh, never mind. 90, 90 will not get the free pass because they were a lap down. Yep. Right in space, guy. Oh. Those two guys did not need that. Neither need it. Especially Matthew Hill, who's only a few points above the cut line. So we'll see how that goes for them. But uh, 70, because of that. No one gets a free pass, so uh, yeah, they didn't need that. An extra lap pace, just to ensure goofiness happens. Because I know this track is very small and 46 cars is a stretch. Uh, they may pit again, specifically a fifth, well, I guess not, we'll see. If they do pit, it'd be this time. But uh, in terms of that, if they do end up having to pit, We'll see, but uh, I don't think the tire fuel advantage is going to be a whole lot. We'll see at the end. I think the highest running car with that would probably be the 17 or the... Uh, I think the 17 would be the highest running to that uh, right now. Is he is 17th right now. So we're going to let these pace laps run through just to make sure the field does get where they need to be. As uh, the two cars in the back wreck... So far, everyone's still in the race. Unfortunately, the, 20, the 22 of Space Guy did not need the damage he got there. Uh, that's good. He was kind of in a good spot in standings, specifically fifth, 116 points above the cut line. And then 90 of Matthew Hill, who is seven points above the cut line, did not need that by no means. And uh, going through wide Martinsville, it's kind of a bad idea. So, well, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, points leader and his teammate leading the field. And then... Jet 07 looked for a good points day as well. Right behind that, Marker Leonard. Highest, best run they've had of their season. That's, I think it's only fifth race. Maybe fourth. And then Jeremy Frey, Kapperman, Monaco, and then uh, Clifton, Messi, and Gonzalez round up our top ten. Probably going to be going green. Not this time, but maybe next time by... The green, or not this time, nor next time. Shoot, maybe, maybe next time. I don't know. We'll see. Well, next time, it they cross the line. Maybe. I did give the pace car an extra lap though to get everyone figured out. Because I uh, don't want the field. Because you see, there's some of them are still back there, but I think they'll get it figured out soon. This big of a field, we could see lap cars if we get a good green flag run. Oh, yep. The next time they go around, pace car lights off for the pace car. Could Brooke Nielsen hang on to win? That is the question. D, but he has Shred, the points leader, right behind him. Pressure? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, base car in. Well, heading to the guy for restart line. Green flag. 
a good good job there by Nelson. Is he able to pull away from Shred? Well, nugget here, Shred they being the points leader. The Shred being the points leader does not have a win this season, despite so. He had a bit of a gap, but let's see if he can close it. Let's see if he can get a green flag run going. If he can get a green flag run going, uh, that will put tr uh, lap traffic into the discussion, and we'll have to start worrying about the 90 and the 22 in terms of our damage vehicle policy. If they are too off pace from the pack, we will have to remove from the fields. Looks like so. 63 and 19 may have went down pit road. I'm not sure if that is scheduled or not. If they do continue to do so, I will have to manually remove from the race. Sorry about that. So far, the space is a bit even when I go into the corner, but... Yeah, 51 pulling away slightly well as well. Here, we'll standing up there just to give a brief idea. We'll see if that grows or shrinks over the race. Oh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I had a difficulty. Open this. Chan Sean Hard gain a little ground on on Nelson. But so far it's looking steady. And I'm bored with Shred. Oh, crash. Oh problem. 25. Dave Williams. Seems get all right, but we're on the yellow. There may be damage on that 25 car. Looking there from, is. Looking at that 99. He what has happened more to damage. Person Williams? Uh, this looks like oh, this. The, they looks like three wide again. I guess it started way back. Ooh, three wide and turn number three. So it looks like, and that 19 was in pit road, just came out. I want to give him a end of the longest Ooh, line for causing oh, that. There. I'm gonna give the 19, 19 a EOL there. Eh? That did not have to happen. Yeah, he, yeah, that was a bit of a tight squeeze, and then right. the 99 gets into and 22 involved, who was involved in the previous wreck. 22 again. So slightly more damage on the 22. Sorry, it wasn't bad enough. But let's see if these guys pit, because. I don't know if they will or not, but we'll see. Uh, EOL to the 19 for causing that, because I was just plain stupid. And it looks like the uh, 25 in and out of pit road along with the 22, and maybe 19. As uh, someone is now out of the race, I believe, with a fuel leak that may not, may or may not be updated, we'll see. Uh, Lucky dog, give to 63. Because he was not involved in that. Yeah, so he get his lap back. Yeah, I'll put that in once we go green. I don't believe we'll need to add an extra pace lap here. They should be fine. Longest green flag of the day, I believe, was a good few laps. Looks like the uh, 25 and 22. Maybe calling it a day, along with the 90. They're showing up in the chat. Both the uh, 25. Not the way he wanted to end the race. Yeah, 22, 90, and 25 are all on pit road. Trying to get their stuff repaired best they can. Especially that 22 car who has a lot, a lot of the most damage there. Uh, so far, Brock Nelson has been able to hold that lead as they did pit early. 17 did. So far, his strategy has not worked him for him at all, as he is uh, not not where he wants to be. 17th, but uh, to get that pull start, so we'll have some points to show for the day. But I don't think his leapfrog strategy will be successful as his teammate. Maybe looking for a better points than he is. So we'll see. By leading all these laps, it does mean more points. Especially for that 51 car. He'll definitely be in the playoffs discussion after this race is said and done. Even if he does get passed eventually, because he's already banked quite a few laps. I'm thinking a few As laps. As of right now, the race is going into his favor. Yep. Uh, once this goes green, he will have the most laps led, I believe. I right, lap 29. Let's see. 
as I look at points right now, he is not in he's not in the top twenty in points. So he may jump the gun here. Definitely. In points. Definitely. He's gonna get a few more positions than he is than he is now. That's this one race alone could put him above the cut line, we'll see. Wait, the race car goes off. They're bunching up there. So far they oh, what's this going car on goes here? off. Oh, we got problems. What? Something's not right up there. Oh wow. Well. Uh I guess they gotta figure it out, but uh Oh, 98 in the wall again. Oh, hey, wait. Oh, Capper man in the wall. Eric Monko takes advantage. Takes. Ooh, got a few guys there in the. A lot of cars in pit road. Oh, uh, wow. That's going to be a end of race for a lot of those cars as they did not fit our damage vehicle policy. Well, we do got a battle for a couple of positions oh, as. Again. 98 hits the wall again. Here comes the Dero Zero of Gonzalez. All right, I'm gonna have to take some of these cars out real quick. They can cast a lap card, we might see a battle for the lead soon. Maybe. 19 though, he did get that EOL. And uh... Have we got a couple of cars coming back on the track? Ah, uh, he's Before on pace, so... Yeah, most of those cars are going to be calling today. As, uh, they have been manually removed from a race. But, uh, yeah, these cars did not catch up to the field. Uh, they are going to be black flagged. Pro or if, they, if we get another yellow, it will be black flagged. Or, uh, EOL. Specifically the 57, 19. I think just those two. Because they've been causing problems. Well, so far, green flag oh, run. Oh. I'm going black flag the 19. That they don't need to be right there. And the 57. I mean, the leader is slow when he oh, hits the wall. Oh, in the wall! It might be a battle for the lead. Down to the Thanks inside. for that mistake. Here comes Shard. Still side oh, by side. Nelson able to defend on the outside. He's old. He holds on to the lead for now, but you can't make mistakes like that. Yeah, that was, exactly. that just goes to show how good that high line is. It's just late in the run. Those three cars ahead yeah, that are left not. Side damage, uh, right side damage, my, my mistake. Right side damage ever affect Elson? So far, he still has the pace. Got a really fast car there. Yeah, there's three cars ahead. They are not at fault for being this point in the pack, so they will not be penalized or uh, whatever for being in the position they're in. But you weren't able to pull away now. Also able to gap, Fred. A 13 laps to go. 57's going to come out here road with uh, their black flag cleared. I mean, the gap is kind of consistent. Not pulling away and not getting real thin at the same time, so... the game of uh, who blinks first I'm mistaken it may cost you 11 laps to go for Brocklet Nelson the point away that 72 car may be a hindrance for him now I don't want to see in these last 10 laps and the go I want a lap cars at the Nelson. wall. So far, Nelson can take it home if he doesn't make another mistake. 
two lap cars are side by side right in front of him. One of them hit the wall that last time. For position right in front of him. This may have shot a little bit to gain a bit of ground, but. This car's getting tight. Where this run goes. Let's see. Ooh, something like tight. There's one car on pit road with issues. Are the cars are the more chances they may end to the wall here. Hey, Nelson is faster. gaining a little by little on those lap cars, but it's gonna be a five lap thing here. All Sean R can do now is hope for a mistake. That's a not Sean R. That's a shred. Sean R uh, drives a 67 oh. in the Cup Series though. No, I bet. That is shard. Shred. Oh, oh Nelson goes Shredded. wide. Dirtier from the lap traffic. Capitalize. Five laps to go. Or six. Okay, he did gain a little bit of ground on Nelson, but. Not a lot. Don't think he has a. Will he have he enough time? He's totally 72 there. He was able to come up on him as there were five laps to go. Nelson, hang on here. He has the points leader breathing down his neck. Yeah, now they're going to have to play it smart. He can't make any mistakes. Nelson's taking a wire line then and shred. But just tucking his car on the bottom. Unsuccessful in turning on our uh, overtime, I mean, are overtime restarts. Down. If we do get a late yellow, I did not turn on overtime starts, so it would finish under yellow because I neglected to turn that on. I forgot to under yellow. Oh, he is slowly there. Uh, He's top. inching a little bit closer. Beating up his tires, man. He's there. Oh, oh, will he have enough time? time? I don't think so. Two, two, we'll two to go. That's about car length there. Oh, he's gonna have to send it. Indeed, Shred's running around. It's running out of time here. White flag, one to go. Oh, oh Shred's getting close. Does he have the next speed? He has one more chance. Into touch three for the final time. Oh, I got tight. Foot goes wide. Oh, I'll turn four. Brock Nelson will take it here at Martinsville. Congrats to Nelson for winning at Martinsville. Well, that was interesting. A mistake there. I think Shred got a little too greedy. His car. Pushed up wide, and I was able to get Nelson the win. Also, Nelson leading the most laps. We'll take the ten point bonus. And he's gonna—he's definitely gonna jump the gun here in the point standings. Is it enough to get in the top? Is it enough to in strike conditions of the uh, of the cutoff? And uh, the. 57 finished 13 laps down. Uh, dang, he had a reverse. But uh, 22, 90, 93, 25, and 63 did not meet our damage vehicle policy as they did not finish. All right. And uh, next race is Kansas. That should be better as a. Uh, not many races left to the playoffs, so uh, this is going to be very crucial with that 51 car doing as well as they did today.